we are proud to present our suite of focused apps, an integrated solution providing apps unique to your type of work. The following video will demonstrate the Debt Recovery app. Search for Osprey Approach on the Microsoft Store to locate our suite of apps. We will select the Debt Recovery app. If you've not yet used the app, select Get to download it. If you already have the app, select Launch. Simply enter your Osprey credentials and click Login. Any key dates relevant to you will appear on your home screen. To get started, select the Menu button. To search for a client or matter, click here. Expand your filters by clicking More options. Enter the information you wish to search for into the relevant boxes and then click the Search button. Left click to select the matter. Selecting this button will display your options for this file. You can add a new matter to this file or edit your currently selected one. Selecting client details will display the details of the client. You'll be able to edit them from there. Select the contact details option to view the client's contact details. Select the Dossier Matter Level option to open the dossier pages for this matter. And here, select the Edit button to open the dossier page. Fill in any relevant information and then click the Save button. Select Document Production to open the list of documents available for this matter. Left click on a document to open it in Microsoft Word. You can now amend your document as required and then click the cross in the top corner to bring up the save options. Select a folder, custom type and retention period if you wish, then add a relevant description to be displayed in the matter history and click to save with or without time recording. The matter history will now display with a recently saved document at the top. You can also access this area through the top left menu by selecting Cases. Select this button to view the options available for a particular matter history item. You can edit the document metadata, preview as a read-only file or clone the document to another case. Select Check Out to open the document up for editing. You can enter a comment at this stage, although this is not compulsory. Once open, make any amendments required. Then click the cross. When checking in, a comment is compulsory. Click check in once done. From the Cases area, you can select the Key Dates heading to view, edit and add key dates. Select Add Key Date. Now add the details of your new key date and click Save. Your new key date will now appear in the list. You can also access the workflows from here. Tasks marked in green have been completed. You can undo a completed task by selecting the Undo icon. Select the Expand icon to display all of the actions available within a task. Untick any actions you don't wish to run. Select Run to begin your task. The first action is a custom questionnaire. Fill in all of the details necessary, but remember to click Submit at the bottom of your questionnaire. You can then select Next. The next action runs a document. Amend this as necessary, then select the cross to close it. You can then save the document to the matter history and move on to the next action. 
This action simply displays a message to the user running the workflow. When the task is completed, you can select the option to end task and return. We can see that our selected task has been marked as completed. This area also allows you to switch to client level workflows, as well as loading or removing them. The other option in the top right menu allows you to send an email to your client. Once open, compose your email or use the template option to bring through an email template, add your recipient and subject and click send. Using the top left menu, you can also view the client ledger of the currently selected file, which will show you the available balances and limits. The case management app will also allow you to set up case bundles. Click the add button to create your new bundle. Then left click on it and select the new button to begin adding the contents. You can now select the documents you wish to add to the bundle, tick the relevant boxes and then select the save button. Your bundle contents will now be displayed. Using the packages option, you can create a pack of matter history items that can then be emailed to a particular recipient. Click add to begin setting up your package. Select whether you want to send the package as a zip file or as a PDF, and then choose an expiry date if you wish. Now choose the items to include in the package and click Save once done. Your package will now display. Click the menu button to either view the package contents or compose an email to send the package in. The email will include a link, which will allow the recipient to download their package. Enter your recipient and select Send. This package has been sent as a zip file, so will appear like this when downloaded. The recipient can then open the documents on their local machine. Should you wish to perform any time recording, select the option for the time recording app from the menu. If you have our time recording app installed, then it will appear for you to log in. If the app is not installed, then you'll be taken to the Windows Store and prompted to download it. Simply log into the app with your usual Osprey credentials and begin recording your time. Log out of the time recording app by selecting the Sign Out button. Click Sign Out to end your session on the Case Management app. Thank you for watching.